previously on our last episode. Find a meme on the internet that makes you smile, that you can connect with. And I want you guys to create a short film based on that meme. I've actually, I don't think I've ever directed anything before. And it will show in your final product. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, Creighton climbs things. That's what Creighton's good for, is climbing things. Let's send Creighton up the 150 foot tall smokestack with the sketchiest ladder you've ever seen. So you can't anchor to the top of the smokestack. Well, maybe you should just hurl yourself off the smokestack and then see what happens. Are you being mean to me because you're filming the behind the scenes for this? I think that um, you need to make it work because we don't have any other options. So I see 4,000 square feet of other options. So I'm gonna say you're wrong. But while I'm up here, do you want me to film anything horizontally for the behind the scenes? Yeah, do it while you're repelling off the smokestack. Okay, I'm gonna hang up on you. You're no help. I feel like I'm a mean director. I, I get my way. How many um, films have you directed on the Team Super Tramp crew? Zero. That's a dumb question. Zane? So, so are you nervous? Yeah, I'm actually very nervous about it. I'm glad you talked to me about it. See, Bubba isn't what you call, uh, no, not smart, Bubba. You're, you're not very talented. No. Yeah, he's not very talented. His strength, he's a good person. He's got a sweet spirit. Yeah, because I'm I'm just gonna be tight on your on your face. Yeah. Yeah. I want to get kind of more or less zoom out and like, oh yeah, this is where you're at, and it's pretty stupid and ridiculous while you're there. It's either we send the Mavic Air up, a POV shot, but a, like a really wide shot, okay. and you standing on top of the containers. We could do that. So we're just trying to figure out how to get a more perspective shot of where Creighton's at and why he's on top of these containers. And why so, is he on top of these containers? He's just Creighton. Why would, why is he doing half the crap that he does? So I like the, breaking bones. It's like a, wait. <laughs> climb on top of the fence, climb on top of the bar, climb on top of the shed. By yourself? You want to blame me? I can't. Then yes, by myself. <laughs> Why did you select Creighton for this role? Uh, it just makes sense in his character. If you've seen him in the past videos, that's what he pretty much does in all the videos. Has he ever hurt himself with a rope swing? Yeah. <laughs> Thumbs up. Big smile. Because it would be cool if it could just like push out, you know? Cool. If that's what you want, man. That's a good run up. Okay. <laughs> so you put your, your two fingers here. And the second person will put their two fingers there, and then um, we actually need three people because then the other person will start the drone up. Um, and if your fingers get cut or hurt, then you know that the propeller number. Yeah, that's exactly right. Thanks, man. Yeah. Safety no, uh, or learning. I guess it's not really safe, but it's required. So we're an hour into the shoot. How many shots have we gotten off so far, Bubba? Zero. Yeah, we've gotten zero shots. Bubba, did you did you uh, test this out before we? No. In, in the future, how could this be avoided? Are you uh, the behind the scenes guy or are you playing Devin right now? Probably is the. If at first you don't succeed, try something else. No more drone now? Yeah, no more drone. Really Who's gonna get it? Okay, so you're gonna have to do that when we do your tight shot too. And then just go like this, and then you're, you're assuring yourself you know what to do, you're gonna throw the rope down. Like, don't overact in it. You're reacting to the sound that you're hearing. Now for a quick educational moment. The biggest thing I learned was easy shots are not easy shots. They're always hard shots. In my thing, I was always a shotgun shooter before doing freelance stuff and making adventure type of videos. They were more or less easy shots because you kind of just had to do it on the run. But when you're doing narratives and doing different types of shots like that, lighting, ca a camera position, camera angles was an a key to every shot in, in my in my meme challenge. So most of my shots were static, so they were mostly on a tripod. They weren't, I was handheld, um, but I still had to get different angles and, and set up lighting and, and get a bounce board. My eyes, I don't know kind of what looks good when you're, when you're doing a narrative, when you're shooting a narrative. When I look at the screen, when I look at the shot, I'm like, let's do this, but it's never easy. Uh, it, there's always you always have to take time to set everything up and, and that's that's kind of what I learned from this shoot This has been a quick educational moment 
Inspiration, sound. That's all I want. Okay, cool. You yeah. got it? Yeah, I got yeah. it. Yeah. Go. Sound. Inspiration, sound. Yeah. 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 What do you think, Bubs? That's good. Okay. Yeah. Good? So now you want to think the, the wide shot or the tight shot when he hears the thing, right? Yeah. Action tape, you're doing something. Okay, sound. Got it. Cool. And hey, what's next, Bubs? So let's do you next. Me? Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> So right now, this is Zane's scene where he hears the sound that Jeff is making. Zane is the magician on in our group. He actually does magic and stuff. He's gonna be levitating things, and doing magic crap when he hears the sound, and then he's gonna everything is just gonna drop. So we switch back to the tight, and then he hears the sound. Mm -hmm. So this one's gonna be more of a longer mm -hmm. shot. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, go into the fall, yeah, because okay. you're really high. Okay, and action. Oh, oh my back. <laughs> <laughs> Did that really hurt your back? Oh, okay. Okay, let's do it one more time. Yeah. I'm still tired on creating action, so I'm not now. Sound. <laughs> I like how you're floating, too. Cool, that's what's Yeah, I like that. Okay. Cool, I think we're good. And uh, now we can do mine. Okay, we just finished Zane on his location, and now we're moving on to my scene. I'm gonna drive your, your car, is that okay? No. Zane, you wanna drive my car? What's going on, Baba? I'm gonna act like I'm tired, but I heard the sound, so I'm about to go tend to Jeff's needs. I'm about to buy a van, I'm gonna live out of it, so this is kind of symbolizing the way I live. Except without the trash, it just adds more drama and dramatic effects. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for getting your car all dirty. Where are we going next? Okay, so now get the shot of Jeff. This is Jeff's scene now. Jeff is the primary person of this whole meme. He is gonna be sitting at that table right over there and he's gonna be all alone. He's gonna be editing or on his computer and he's gonna be looking frustrated, you know, like he doesn't know he needs his team. So then he's gonna pull out this horn and this is his call horn, his creative call horn and that's what's gonna ignite everyone to come and, and uh, come to his rescue. So when he blows the horn, I'm gonna shake the camera just a little bit uh, to kind of help you emphasize that you're the feeling the sound and not just hearing it. <laughs> That's great. Okay, and Jeff, action. Okay, yeah, you're getting frustrated. Yeah, look around, look around. Okay, now the horn. We're all just gonna wear the same thing that we wore today. You can just bring a different one. And then um, tomorrow, we're just gonna get a shot of all of us kind of coming to, into Jeff's rescue, you know? And then we're all just gonna be called, you know? On to day two. <laughs> oh, slide it. We are doing Devin's creative shot. So he's gonna be doing all kind of multitasking with a baby, because he just had a baby. And what he's gonna do is he gonna, he's gonna hear a sound, and then he's gonna drop everything except the baby and then he's gonna run out of frame and go and assess the situation with Jeff. Action. Is that funny how it is? Okay, you hear the sound? Okay, perfect. Thank you, Megan, yeah, so much you, Megan. for letting yeah, us yeah. use your baby. Thank you, Atlas. <laughs> Our baby. Um, plot twist. <laughs> plot twist. He's ready for a nap. Here you go, Zane. How are you contributing right now? I'm getting my energy levels up. If I don't have food, I get real grumpy. Bubba calls it hangry. I just, I need a feed. Oh. It's not 
simple. It takes a lot into getting just a, a, a simple shot. You just have to set up a lot, do a lot of things to get that simple shot. Next time, I'll go into it and I'll be more prepared and be ready to just attack it again and, and yeah, just be way, way more organized. Nailed it. Hey man, what'd you need? Where have you guys been all morning? Jeff, you, you know today's Saturday, right? Uh... I have three tips for you guys that I learned on my first time directing this video. Tip number one, be a leader. It was my first time directing. I had to show everyone my vision and I really didn't know how to do that. My advice to you guys is to come up with some type of storyboards, notes, clips from YouTube, or any type of movies that you've seen prior to, to where you wanna replicate it. Tip number two, use practical camera effects. Uh, there was a shot where Jeff was sitting at the table, I wanted to blow the horn, and I was gonna add a, a camera shake effect in post-production, uh, but Zane advised me you know, use everything practically, and he showed me a trick how he shook the camera to make it look like everything was kind of shaking when, when uh, Jeff was blowing the horn. Tip number three, build a team that you can trust and that you can depend on. They have a lot of patience, it'll boost your confidence, and it'll definitely elevate your production. So next week, starting Tuesday, we have, a, we have a treat for you guys. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, four videos next week. And the challenge we gave ourselves is we had to film a video completely on a smartphone and we had to use one prop, toilet paper. Now, next week's challenge is also gonna be exciting because we're gonna challenge you as an audience. So as you guys watch these videos, each day we're gonna be telling you guys what the main challenge is that we're leaving to you guys and our favorite videos will be featuring. So stay tuned next week when we'll be announcing that contest and you'll see us take on this challenge of filming a video on a smartphone featuring toilet paper. Stay tuned next week. Thank you so much for watching. Over and out.